Hi, Joy Olson here, Blockbuster Fundraising. Happy to be here with you today to talk about different ways of thank creative ways to thank your donors. You know, recently we have discussed the wonderful impact of direct mail and how important it is to your success. So once you have that successful donation from your, your direct mail piece, you need to be thanking your donors. And, and maybe you're just a small to a medium-sized nonprofit and you, you don't have lavish ways of thanking your donors, but there are some creative things you can do that will have a real impact. So I was recently reading this blog by Chelsea Alves and it was creative ways to thank your donors. She gave 15 creative ways. I'm not going to go over each and every one of them today, but let's look at some the, the top 10. How's that? Okay, number one, website appreciation. She says that the website is the perfect place for you to show public appreciation of your supporters. So develop a stewardship stewardship section on your website which can appeal to both one-time donors and recurring donors and you post a message on your website that promotes your gratitude your thankfulness to a broad audience it shows that you appreciate their time and their efforts and the impact that they've made on your organization it certainly is a personal connection that will boost engagement and loyalty. And of course, if you have bigger donors, you could call them out in a clear, meaningful way. Uh, perhaps a picture, small profile, you get the picture. Use your website to show gratitude. Secondly, and this is something at Blockbuster we totally believe in and we, we talk about often, and that's your welcome package. We talked recently about that acquisition mailing, how you absolutely, uh, facts prove that you need to keep doing those acquisition mailings. And a welcome package is certainly an effective way to educate those new donors about your organization and the surest way to tell your donors you care is to thank them which means mailing that welcome package no later than two weeks after they donate for the first time all right so you want to get it out there don't wait so long that they've gotten they donated they're interested right now something compelled them to make that first gift bang get out to them reach out immediately. So typically a welcome package goes beyond just a thank you letter and it may include uh, photographs, a small survey, maybe a small gift like a bookmark. So don't, this should be warm and welcoming. So don't rattle off a series of facts and figures about your organization but tell the story, show the story, show the story of the difference that your organization has made. All right, well, she, uh, she also talks about profiling your donors, and, and I think that that is a, an opportunity that if you do an annual report, that can really work well for you. It, it could be a perfect opportunity to list your top uh, contributing donors by name and recognize uh, their efforts. Of course, you want to make sure that this is all right with, uh, with your donors. But you can um, ask the following questions when selecting a, a donor to profile. And, and these questions might be this. Why this person? Why now? What's the point from a marketing perspective? What are you trying to achieve by telling the story about this person? All right. Now, fourth creative idea, and I love this, is a video. A good thank you video doesn't have to be reserved for your year-end campaign. Oh, that's right. Acknowledge your donor's gifts with a clear and simple thank you video 
any time of the year. And you know, it's so easy now with our phones to do something personal in minutes. And a two to five minute thank you video will not only engage your donors, but it is also a way to publicly recognize them through social media and promote your organization to other potential supporters. If you want uh, a good example of this, Allison says that the Nature Conservancy's thank you video is a perfect example of a quick, meaningful way to effectively say thank you. And they do so by having people impacted by those donations deliver the message. So there's an aha moment. You don't have to do it as development director or your executive director, but use somebody in the video that has been impacted by those donations. Alrighty, idea number five. How about a cultivation event? And, and these are really good. This is event, you, you don't sell tickets, you're not gonna ask for a donation, but you give your, your top prospects an experience to remember. So you create an opportunity to involve people, uh, like when I was a stockbroker, you'd call them cold calls, it, it, cold prospects who have may never heard of your organization in a way that sparks their interest. But perhaps you have a group of people that you know donate to other causes just like yours or a donor, donor of, of, or a volunteer of yours says, gee, we have some, some uh, neighbors or I have a friend that really uh, loves uh, your cause. We need to get them involved. Well, perfect. Throw a cultivation event to bring people closer to your organization and you can engage them with face-to-face -face conversation. So that is absolutely wonderful. Your board members can be really instrumental in helping you set up these parties too. And it can, it, 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 it's a wonderful opportunity. So keep in mind that this is a social occasion. Conversations and the overall experience it's not serious and it's not heavy and it's not for an ask. You are simply engaging in conversations regarding their interests. And you can sprinkle in a few tidbits about your organization and a lot about your success stories and impact. Next creative idea is a stewardship matrix. Create a stewardship matrix to show what you'll do for donors who give at various levels. For instance, one to $99, second group 100 to $499, you know the drill, third group 500 to 1,000. That way staff members will be more consistent when it comes to communication and stewardship strategies with each type of donor. So that is a, a, a something for you to think about. For example, donors who give $25 or more per month receive a handwritten thank you note from the development director. Donors who give $100 or more per month receive a letter opener. Donors who give $250 or, or more receive a letter from the executive director. You get the idea. Okay, next is your thank you letter. And of course, the simplest way to thank your donors is to send a thank you letter. Send out a donation letter and receipt as soon as you receive a donation. In fact, Nonprofit Hub recommends sending a thank you letter within two days, and so does Joy Olson and Blockbuster Fundraising. 48 hours, speed matters, because the longer you wait, the less sincere your thank you will come across. So get that thank you out within 48 hours. Eight, creative idea. Be thoughtful. Whether your donor is new or recurring, each interaction you have with them is an opportunity for a lifetime of support. So make your thankful, make your thank you impactful 
meaningful and memorable. And one way to do this is to remember the personal details that you hear in conversations with your donors. You need to be listening. Did Bob tell you that he's going golfing with his son on Saturday? Ask how their day at the golf course was the next time you talk. People really appreciate knowing that they were heard. And that's why listening is such a beautiful talent to have as a fundraiser. You'll be super successful if you are a great listener. And of course, take notes. Put them in your database. You can't remember everything. That's why you have that great database. All right, ninth creative idea is a handwritten note. Aside from sending a thank you letter after the first donation, a great way to show your donors continued thanks is to send them handwritten notes. The personalization will make the message seem more meaningful. And what are some ideal times to send a handwritten note? Well, how about this? When they make a second donation, when they attend an event, on the anniversary of their first donation. I love that idea. Around the holiday season, which of course everyone does, but it's still a good opportunity. Include a short handwritten note that references their reason for giving in each letter. Did they give because of their friend's peer-to-peer -peer campaign? Did they attend your event? Did they respond to your direct mail appeal? In cases where you don't know exactly why they gave, include a short handwritten note that talks about the importance of their gift. And to make it come to a perfect conclusion, this note, this handwritten note, have a board member personally sign the letter. Perfect, don't you think? Tenth idea, hey, if you've got any complaints, solve them immediately. Okay, and uh, if there's any complaints, make sure that your executive director knows about it right away. If you want to uh, make sure that your donors feel uh, valued and that you hear uh, any concerns that they have and they're immediately taken care of, do not forget that. We had the same in, uh, in my first career of a stock brokerage. If it's good news, call immediately. If it's bad news, call even faster. So if anybody has a problem, you want to solve it as quickly as possible. All right, how about an anniversary card is a great gift. So you send a personalized anniversary card to recognize donor loyalty a year after they've made their first donation. I love this idea. We touched on it briefly before, but to further show your gratitude, have the card signed by your, your chair, uh, board chair or your executive director. Not only should their first year be celebrated, but you should also send an anniversary card for 5, 10, 15, 20 years of recurring giving. Gosh, yeah, isn't that something? That's wonderful. That's beautiful loyalty. That's beautiful retention. That should be everybody's retention goal, right? To have a, a donor uh, sending out 20-year uh, anniversary cards. Okay, let's talk about social media. How can you use social media creative? And as a nonprofit organization, Facebook and Twitter and Instagram too are powerful tools for simple shout outs and thank yous. And just as you feel a jolt of excitement when you log on and see a notification symbol, your donors feel the same knowing that they've been included in some kind of a social media post. It makes you feel really good to be included. I've been included from time to time and it really is a warm and fuzzy feeling. So this is a great way to say thank you to donors, both large and small. Not only does it let them know that you've received their donation and you're grateful for it, but it also tells the world of their commitment to your organization. It also tells their, their friends too. 
So you want to make sure that you have your donor's correct social media information and also uh, make sure that they're, that they're okay with this if you give them a call out on social media. Some people are not okay with it, but make a note of that. All right, you know how important this next creative piece is. Schedule phone calls. Oh my goodness, it is so important. One of the most personal forms of communication is a phone call. And, and I, I think, I know, uh, you know, calling your kids or, or your grandkids now is out of the question. They don't want to hear it. But your baby boomers and your traditional donors they, they really appreciate a phone call. Hearing a voice on the other end of the line, it, it really builds authenticity, but it also builds trust with these donors. So help your donors put a voice to a name by scheduling time on your calendar each month to thank your donors over the phone. Make it a commitment to call at least one major donor each month, I say call at least one major donor each week and genuinely make the effort to, to get to know them and build a relationship. That is so important. If you're, you've got to be doing that as a good development director. Okay, well, those are some great creative ideas uh, for you right now. And I hope that it's uh, giving you a little aha moment. It's, uh, uh, I'm sure all of these ideas are things that you agree with and you know, but maybe it just refreshes the impression that, ooh, I've got to do that. I've got to get back to doing that. And you know, it's all when you get on that telephone call and, and talk to your donors too, Make sure that you invite them out for a tour because by giving your donors uh, sensory experiences, uh, like coming out, like volunteering, uh, it's wonderful. They really get more excited by about your work by seeing it. So invite them out. Say thank you. Come on out. We're so excited that you're involved. We'd like for you to see exactly what we're doing. Okay, Joy Olson here, Blockbuster Fundraising. JoyOlsonGroup.com, BlockbusterFundraising.com. Over 30, I'm, what am I saying? Over 300, probably th over 330 YouTube videos, free fundraising videos on our YouTube channel. And remember, we are live every Tuesday, 1 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Thanks so much for having been here. See you soon. Bye-bye.